Hey folks, welcome. So, I was just watching a video by Tim Pool, and he was talking about this hoaxy presentation about walruses and how they were jumping to their deaths due to global warming. And, yeah. This is exactly the sort of thing that I talk about when I say that this whole global warming industry, whether or not you believe anthropogenic global warming, the way it's presented, the alarmist terms in which it's presented, the language to which people will go to to make the case because they feel that it's either justified or they want to profit off of it, uh, detracts from real stories. Because earlier today, we had, I'm sorry, I had watched Jimmy Dore comment or interview. This is quite a mess right here. Probably have to redo it, but Jimmy Dore interviews someone who went down to Flint, Michigan to uh, talk about the water crisis on down there, with blood getting in the water, people getting legionnaire's disease, and the fact that when the experts came to test the water, they ran the water first, which meant that they found less lead than was actually in the water, because you're not supposed to run the water first, you're supposed to just go ahead and get that sample. And um, that story has been buried, more or less, and because sensationalistic stuff, like the Morris story, gets promoted by uh, Netflix. No less. So, that's the kind of world we live in. It's the kind of world we've been living in. I'm not terribly surprised, but I thought it was a really good example. <laughs> Just right there, ripe for the picking. Because sometimes when people ask you to say, explain what you're talking about, you kind of have to reach for stuff because you don't necessarily have everything in your memory fresh, but this just happened. <laughs> and it's very indicative of the phenomenon. Um, and it kind of an identical the phenomenon. Uh, Alex Perdome wrote a book. I forget the title, but I have it over there in my uh, office. Um, and in it, he interviews a, I think it's a USGS uh, hydrologist uh, they're out on, in the Chesapeake Bay, and the hydrologists start mentioning that uh, nitrification, or I think uh, nitrogen, is the kind of new CO2 that gets ignored because despite, you know, the relevancy of, hey, we've got warming going on, that dwarfs this other really big real issue, which is the nitrification of our, you know, waterways and our, our bays and things that causes mass fish die-offs and wreaks havoc on ecosystems. Now, that's a very big story because that's a food source. Among, just as, even aside from the fact that you don't want to destroy uh, the shoreline, make it kind of a lifeless dead zone, which is exactly what the term is. It's called a dead zone when algal blooms occur due to higher nitrogen contents in the waters. So, yeah. I mean, I know that I sound super... I don't know, blasé, but that's because, for one, I've had a kind of quite a hectic day. For two, I mean, what are you going to do? I guess I, got, I, I made a vlog and I continue informing people, but there's so many voices that uh, are so vivacious and they've been around. And there's even critics of, you know, anthropogenic global warming with whom I agree to a large degree, like Michael Crichton. Um, and yet their ideas aren't, are discussed and whittled away at and in the spotlight. Instead, we're all talking about our pet ideologies and it's capitalism versus socialism, which, okay, that's an interesting discussion to have and it is timely because people are, are, are well, want some kind of change, but they're not sure exactly what kind of change, but... When when those debates happen, it, it's just a caricature attack 
versus caricatures were just caricatures, really. And it's just people putting up straw men and battling them out like Pokemon. Ah, yeah. Uh, there's, uh, there's that. Take care, everybody. If you like what you heard, subscribe. Comment below. Um, same thing. If you didn't like it, I mean, you know, obviously, I'm not going to subscribe, but, you know, do what you're going to do. Head on over to www.franklinjournal.com for stories, ideas, and more. And, uh, take care.